Hey everybody, Rebellion Ranch with you. I'll try to speak up. It's gonna be a little windy out here today and I know how much YouTube likes to comment about audio and wind. Away. Lie down. But uh, I want to answer some questions that we've had on YouTube. One of those is what do you do about inbreeding and quite honestly the short answer to that is we encourage it in a form through line breeding. Line breeding allows us to bring out traits that we want and to identify traits that we don't want and to do it a lot quicker. Uh, by keeping a, a closed herd essentially and doing that, we, we get animals that are successful in this environment. That's what you want. Uh, yeah, these are Katahdin sheep back here from Katahdin Mountain, Maine, you know, a breed that was developed there. But our goal in 20 to 30 years is you can call them whatever you want, but they're gonna be the most super adapted breed to this area you know, 30 miles south of Kansas City on the Kansas side of the border in particular in this very microclimate that we have. So that's what line breeding will allow us to do. Uh, it keeps it a lot simpler too. And anything that's simple is going to work in the long term. Uh, I'll link an article in the description that I use to uh, kind of review my notes on line breeding. But it's got like a six step process in there that you can use. Essentially, what you're wanting are the successful animals, and the easiest way to, to identify that is going to be which ones successfully breed. Um, long story short, if an animal doesn't thrive well in this environment, it's not going to be able to reproduce at the rate that another animal that does thrive in this environment will. And it's really not an issue as far as any breeding that ends up being too close, any problems like that, because these animals go to slaughter at least the males and then any defective females are going to go to slaughter so you know that problem kind of takes care of itself and what you're going to end up with is a very uniform animal that thrives in this environment so that's why we practice line breeding and like i you know our goal is over the next 20 to 30 years to develop these sheep to this environment you know line breeding is why we have luna back here they went through a lot of trouble and you know a lot of you might not be able to handle it they probably drowned a lot of puppies in the process line breeding is the reason that zoe's back over there keeping the sheep where they're at they're all desirable traits that were honed in on and bred together you know if you bring outside genetics into your herd constantly in my opinion uh you're just starting over every time so just work you know start from the best best basis that you can with the best animals from your area that have done well in your area without too many crutches under them and work from there and develop your breed. I hope that answers your question. Uh, hope to be cranking these videos out a lot more often. The weather's about to turn nice. Things are about to go from brown to green. Uh, God bless you all and just keep uh, sending the questions in. And like I said, we'll do a, a few more videos on breeding here real soon. Um, Long story short on that is it's it's very hands off compared to what we started with. We we started with a very over managed system and that might make you feel good as a human, but it's not going to get you the results that uh, that I think you really want. So talk to you next time.